Hey guys, Terry with Computer Pro. A um, little bit of a different video, but kind of a tool video nonetheless. Um, talking about EDC or everyday carry knives. Um, I'm a little bit of a knife collector, usually Benchmade and Spyderco and so forth. Um, so I'll go over a really quick overview. It You know, as most guys carry a pocket knife anyway, but as tax, I know a lot of repair guys I, almost always carry some sort of pocket knife. Um, and it's not really an IT tool, but it's a tool nonetheless. And I haven't seen really too many reviews on these, at, at least in the, the IT circles. So for what it's worth, I'll, I'll do a quick one, okay? Um, so my, and th then I'll tell you as far as what I think is the best bang for the buck. Um, so as far as your, your you know, department store quality, whatever, uh, Kershaw, which is, I mean, not cheap. I don't mean cheap, but, you know, stuff you can buy at, you know, Gander Mountain and so forth. Um, uh, Kershaw is one that, I mean, you can even buy them at Meyer and Walmart and so forth. Um, it's a, this is a spring assisted, um, it's a Kershaw leak. A little bit slippery, but you, all you do is like hit the little lever here and it's spring assisted. Now in some states, I know maybe spring assisted is not legal or fully automatic not and so forth, but still a great knife that's super cheap. Um, another is, which I just collected, it's a Benchmade bone collector. Benchmade has what's called an axis lock, um, which is, it pulls on both sides. Um, this is a very, very smooth action knife. Um, I mean, you know, out, just very, very, very smooth. All these knives are one hand operation. Um, if it's a bench made or if it has an axis lock, an axis lock, when you squeeze it in, it's really handy because you can just flip it open and flip it back. So not only is it one hand opening, but it's one hand closing. Okay. Just open, close. Um, or you can use the, the, uh, the, spider coal like finger hole to you know typically they use their thumb and open it like that but with an axis lock open and shut it's very 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 nice um i wouldn't carry this every day and the reason is is this uh jimping or gimping whatever they call it jimping i think it's 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 a nice walnut handle it's more of a collector's knife but this is very hard on your pocket this will rip the heck out of out of your pocket okay um i've got another uh bench made this has a really cool blade design once again it's it's an axis lock so quick to open this is an osborne uh 940 i think um carbon fiber handle a little bit longer i think three and uh three quarters inch blade but the same thing with axis locks remember open close open close so really nice rides in your pocket nice i believe the clip rides fairly deep or so forth so it's a good knife um and then I do have a Guardian Tactical out the front. These are really cool. This is a better quality out the front. Once these became legal in Michigan at knife shows, you've seen a ton of the cheap Chinese knockoffs. This is actually a, a Guardian Tactical, so it's a better quality one, you know, but out the front is simply that. It's spring assisted both ways, out and back in, out and back in. So very nice. Once again, it's the only, which, which I've carried this quite a bit. It rides deep in the pocket. The only complaint I have with this is the, it's very slippery. So sometimes what you're doing to get it out, you've got to like kind of grab on the clip. It doesn't come out nice. A lot of times it slips. That's the only downside to it. But other than that, it's a good utility knife. A little bit big. The Tanto blade's kind of thick, but it's utility, you know. And um, the next quickly is a ZT, Zero Tolerance. Um, this is just your typical knife. It doesn't have any action at all, but it has ball bearings in the in the uh, swivel, in the action. Extremely smooth, extremely smooth. All these have really great metal blades, um, so you can just feel the action when you flip it. It's very, very, very smooth. Um, and then, and it rides nice in the pocket. This is, I carried this for a long time. Now, this is really cool. This was like 60 bucks on Amazon. Now I think it's up to 90. It's a Spyderco with an Emerson Wave opener. It looks like a bottle cap. Very, very, very handy knife. This thing here has no springs whatsoever. It's just a typical, it has a, a liner lock, they call it. So, you know, I, there's an unsharpened part here. So I flip it down against my finger, flip it against my leg to close it. So it still is one hand opening and closing. Um, but the cool thing about the Emerson Wave Open, it's 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 made Spider Co. to use the thumb and deploy like that, right? But 
with the Emerson Wave opener, it catches the pocket. So it's even faster than the automatic knife because if you give it a little twist to the um, against the pocket like this, then the wave catches the pocket. So as you pull it out, I'll try to demonstrate here, as I pull it out, the blade's automatically deployed and there's, there's no springs or anything. It's just that quick because it catches your pocket. So here, it's out automatically. That's a very, very cool knife, very light. Um, I think the blade is VG10 steel, um, which is a really hard metal. And it's probably bang for the buck and, and uh, for the quality of the steel and you know for being, well, it was 60 bucks, but for being even 99 bucks, um, it's a very, very good knife. The thing I like about this blade is it's, it's pretty thin. Like I said, it's VG10 steel, so the quality's there. The blade itself is very thin. So like, you know, slicing paper, opening envelopes, just getting into things, it's it, opening things. It's a very thin, sharp blade, which I really like. So I actually went back to this as my daily carry or my daily driver. So for here, boom, Emerson Wave Opener. I've never tried it as a bottle opener. I'm sure it works. It looks like about the same size, but just the way it catches the pocket, you know, it just opens right up. Very handy, deploys itself right out of the pocket. So should be fully legal everywhere. I don't know of the wave opener being illegal anywhere. There's there's no springs, it's not automatic, but it's faster than a switchblade because you don't pull it out and hit a button. It's deployed as you pull it out. So very, very, very cool. Um, Spyderco, let's see, this is a Delica 4 or a Delica wave opener, I believe it's called. There's an Enduro, which is a little bit longer. This is the Spyderco Delica with the wave opener on Amazon. So... Good stuff.